Tyler, AKA Thirst and Tangles. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Over on my channel, I inspire people to give thrifting, sustainability, and their natural selves a chance. I'm really excited because today we're talking about how to save money while living a sustainable lifestyle. If you watch a lot of mainstream things about the sustainability movement, I feel like they'll have you thinking that it costs a lot of money to be sustainable. And that's not the case at all. I feel like by making simple, sustainable swaps in your life, it can actually save you money in the long run. And we're going to talk about that. This video is in partnership with Aspiration. If you're not familiar with Aspiration, they are a digital banking alternative and they are focused on protecting people and the planet. Their mission is to help people do good with their dollars, which includes divesting from big oil industries and other industries that are harmful to people and the planet. You may not know this, but a lot of big banks invest their money into things like fossil fuels and oil and just all these horrible things. So moving your money out of banks that are funding climate change is one of the best things you could do in your sustainability movement. But we will talk about this more later in the video and I will share my aspiration review. The first way is to use what you already have. That is one of the most sustainable things you can do. You don't need to buy anything new. Just figure out new uses for things that you already own in your house. So that could be you can upcycle like an old throw blanket into a pillow or you can upcycle an old shirt into, I don't know, a tank top, like just simple things like that. Finding creative new ways to put a spin on the items you already own is just sustainable all around. You don't have to spend any money, which is nice. And then it helps to make sure you extend the lifestyle of the items that you bought once upon a time. The second way is to shop secondhand. So shopping secondhand is amazing. I love thrifting. It's a great way to save money. You can get really quality pieces at very affordable price points, but then it also is a way to divert things from ending up in the landfill, which sustainability is what we're talking about. And that is super sustainable. Thrifting is also one of my favorite things because maybe you can buy something you normally wouldn't be able to afford. So if you buy something thrifted or secondhand, you usually get a really, really good discount. So I mentioned earlier that Aspiration is sponsoring this video and Aspiration is a digital banking alternative. They are also a certified B Corp member of 1% for the planet, and they do not use deposits to invest into things like oil pipelines and coal mines. So how can switching to Aspiration help save you money? Well, let's dive into it. Aspiration's Spend and Save account offers up to 3 to 5% APY on savings, which can be up to 83 times the national average. What does that actually mean? So currently the national average interest rate on savings accounts is 0.06% APY. So if you deposit $5,000 into your savings account, you would make about $3 in one year with the national average. Aspiration offers up to 5%. So that $5,000 would make about $250 in one year, which that's such a sustainable savings amount. With Aspiration's Conscious Coalition program, they actually provide cash back when you shop with certain brands. So that's a nice bonus. Some companies that are included in this are Imperfect Foods, which I absolutely love. If you're not familiar with them, definitely check them out. I'll put their information in the description box down below. You can also sign up with Arcadia Power. And if you do, you get 10% off on your utilities each month. And they are a sustainable option because they use the renewable energy grid. They also have the Plant Your Change initiative. I actually did a video about it last year. You can click here to watch, but this is something that you can opt into where every time you swipe your card, they will plant a tree on your behalf. All right, so if you're interested in signing up with Aspiration, I will put a link in my description box down below, but let's get into like actually how the heck do you sign up? So I actually got my card in the mail recently and it was super easy to sign up for. So let me walk you through the process. Okay, so first you're gonna choose which card you wanna sign up for. You can do Aspiration where you pay a monthly fee, you deem as fair, or Aspiration Plus where the monthly fee is $5.99. So the card I showed you is the Aspiration card, but I do wanna upgrade to Aspiration Plus basically because they will automatically offset carbon dioxide for every gallon of gas you purchase. You get 10% cash back when shopping with some of the merchants, and you also get the 5% APY on savings, which we talked about earlier. All right, so after you select your card, you just enter your social security number, you connect with your current bank account, and from there you can easily transfer funds directly into your Aspiration account or schedule transfers at a later time. So that's pretty much everything about Aspiration. I feel like they just make things really convenient. And I know my dollars aren't going to be funding fossil fuels or any harmful industries, so that is a major plus. Okay, the next tip is that you can make sustainable swaps that will save you money in the long run. So for example, I used to spend $20 a month on razors, but I switched to a safety razor and I was able to get one safety razor and 100 blades for $54. So now I'm set for life. That's pretty much $240 in savings for the year. So that adds up over time. I never have to buy another razor 
I don't even know, for the rest of my life, I don't think I'm gonna buy another one. Another sustainable swap that saved me money is switching to a water dispenser. I used to spend $5 a week on a 24 pack of plastic water bottles, and that comes out to be $260 a year. After switching to a water dispenser, now I only spend $1.50 a week, and that gets me five gallons of water. So I'm getting way more water, creating less waste, and spending a lot less. Okay, my last tip is to grow your own herbs. Why buy herbs every week when you can grow your own? Instead of paying $4 every time you go to the grocery store for a bunch of basil, you can literally grow your own even if you live in a small apartment. I actually did a blog post about how to grow herbs in an apartment, so you can click it here. But you can also take food scraps from items you've already purchased and grow your own food out of the scraps. So this works really well with green onions. All you have to do is take the green onion and put it into some water, like the chopped green onion. And next thing you know, in like a week or two, it's going to just grow because <laughs> that's what plants do. Okay, so those are all of my suggestions for how to save money while living a sustainable lifestyle. If you have any suggestions, be sure to put them in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. I also want to thank Aspiration for sponsoring this video. If you are interested in signing up, the link is in the description box. And if you want to take advantage of the 10% off savings for sustainable companies, definitely sign up. I know I'm going to take advantage of that because I love me a little discount. Okay, well, I thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.